Welcome to the 24th week of your twin pregnancy. Your babies are now what is considered viable. In other words, if they were to be born this week and you have access to excellent neonatal care, they actually have a 50% chance of surviving outside of your uterus. They are now weighing in somewhere right around a pound and a half, roughly 670 grams, and measuring about 12 and a half to 13 inches, about 32 centimeters from head to toe. Most likely one baby is slightly larger than the other. As long as there's less than a 15 to 20% discrepancy between their weights, it is absolutely fine. So what else are they up to this week? Their lungs are developing. They're starting to store fat. They're creating their own little fingerprints. Their taste buds are developing. Please do not worry. Your babies cannot taste the food that you're eating. You should be feeling those babies moving on a regular basis now. So what's going on with you? You are most likely feeling more Braxton Hicks, those practice contractions. You may be having a lot of lower back pain. Is your skin starting to get itchy? You are most likely starting to see stretch marks on your breasts, your abdomen, and your hips. You may be more constipated than normal. You might be having some swelling in your hands and your feet. What's not okay is bright red bleeding that's enough to saturate a pad, water running down your leg that isn't urine. It's not okay for you to have five or more cramps in one hour. Do you have an OB visit coming up this week? At that visit, they will most likely get your weight. Average weight gain at 24 weeks is right around 20 to 24 pounds. You can anticipate gaining about a pound and a half every week going forward. They will probably do an ultrasound to check the baby's heartbeats. Normal heart rate at this point is 120 to 160 beats per minute. They may order some lab work that would include a glucose tolerance test. That is a test to see if you are a gestational diabetic, a diabetic that is specific to pregnancy. That test is typically done between 24 and 28 weeks. Even if you had the glucose tolerance test early in pregnancy, if you passed, you still need to do it again. So what should you be doing at this point? I encourage you to stick to a good healthy diet, fruits and vegetables, whole grain breads and cereals, lean meat. Remember, because you are making two humans, you need an additional 680 calories every single day. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, at least 10 to 12 glasses a day. If you are thirsty or your urine is dark in color, you are dehydrated. Make sure you're taking your prenatal vitamin, your low dose aspirin, and any other supplements that could include iron, vitamin D, calcium that your provider has recommended. I hope that you're able to sleep. You wanna make sure you're keeping your skin well moisturized. Now is also a good time for you to start looking for a pediatrician. I hope you're writing down your questions in anticipation of your upcoming visit. In the meantime, if there's any questions that I can answer, please feel free to drop those in the comment section below. While you're in the comment section, if you would hit that like button, I sure would appreciate that. You're still here. Thanks so much for sticking around through the entire video. If you feel as though this information has been helpful to you, or you think you know somebody that might benefit from that information provided in these videos, please feel free to like it, share it, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did that. Any and all support that you can provide is so greatly appreciated. As always, these videos were not created as a replacement visit with your healthcare provider, rather as a place for you to come for basic, reliable information that is non-biased and hopefully allow you to figure out what questions to ask your healthcare provider at your next visit to best meet your healthcare needs. Again, I appreciate all of your support. If you want to contact me, my information is at the top of this screen and I will put it in the comment section of this video. That's all I have for today. This is CJ. I'm at your cervix. Thank you.